Hey guys, this is Sarah for Elfenwild, and I am coming to you from the beautiful town of Appenzell, Switzerland. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking all about handling money in Switzerland. If you are watching this video, it might be because you have an upcoming trip to Switzerland and you're asking yourself some common questions like, what currency do they use in Switzerland? Should I get my hands on some local currency before I go to Switzerland? And how am I gonna pay for things once I arrive there? Well, in today's video, we're gonna answer all those questions, so let's jump into it. The first thing that you need to know is that Switzerland uses the Swiss franc. It does not use the Euro. It is not in the Eurozone like its neighboring countries of Italy, France, Germany, and Austria. So you might be wondering if you need to get your hands on some Swiss francs in your home country before you enter Switzerland so you can be prepared once you arrive there? And the answer is actually no. The best, easiest, and most convenient thing you can do is to get Swiss francs at an ATM once you arrive to Switzerland. And your regular debit card that you use to get cash everywhere will work, and you do not need to worry about locating an ATM because they can be found just about everywhere. And if an ATM happens to give you a 100 franc or 200 franc bill, do not worry because they are widely accepted everywhere and it is not really seen as an inconvenience or an annoyance, so don't worry about large notes. Speaking of notes or bills, Switzerland has some really cool currency. They have a 10 franc note, 20, 50, 100, 200, and even a 1,000 franc note currently in circulation. And as you can see, they are really colorful, they're super crisp, and they're actually different sizes, which is great for accessibility. When it comes to coins, coins in Switzerland are really, really cool. They start at five rappen, or five cents, and then they have 10, 20, 50 and then one franc, two francs, and a five franc coin. So you can pull out some coins out of your pocket and you might have 20 francs there. So cash and coins are great to have because sometimes you might need them, but in all reality, probably most of your purchases will be done with a credit card. Credit cards are widely accepted and you can use them for payment almost anywhere, including for transportation at your hotel and grocery stores, restaurants, and most shops. Paying with card is convenient and is definitely secure. And this is is also the way to get the best exchange rate. Now when you pay with card at the terminal, sometimes it may ask you if you want to pay in Swiss francs or in your local currency, like US dollars for example. Now when you are given the option, it is always best to select Swiss francs as you will get a slightly better exchange rate this way. Speaking of exchange rates, it's normally right around one to one when you're comparing the US dollar to the Swiss franc, which is really nice because you don't have to get too caught up in calculating currency conversions and prices. One tip is to call your credit card company or bank before you leave the country and let them know you're going to be traveling throughout Europe and this will assure that your transactions or your accounts do not get blocked. Last thing you need to check is that your credit card does not charge foreign transaction fees because these fees can add up really quickly if every time you are swiping they are charging you a fee so definitely make sure you're not getting charged foreign transaction fees. So that is all you need to know about handling money on your upcoming trip to Switzerland. We all know Switzerland is famous for banking, finance, and money and with these tips you can be an expert as well. <laughs> 